So the first thing we're going to need to get started in updating custom values is obviously custom values. So since this is a new account, what we're going to do is we're just going to set up some demo custom values, some blank custom values uh, for the system to be able to update. Now, ideally, you're probably going to have a snapshot. You're going to have custom values that you already want updated. You're going to have stuff that you're using in emails and SMS on your website pages, on your funnel pages, whatever it is. There are custom values that you're going to want to have updated, right? We have a ton of snapshots that we've already built that have custom values that update those snapshots so people don't actually have to jump into the funnels. Now, what I'm going to do here is just create some dummy custom values that we can use um, just for the purposes of updating or showing you here. So we're just going to go custom values, one, two, three, four, five kind of thing. And I'm just going to put a period there just to show that there's no value in there right now. But I mean, for example, in smart reviews, we have smart domain URL, we have uh, uh, your logo, you have different things like that. So we're just going to put these in here. Actually, maybe we'll throw a logo in here as well. Custom values, values, logo, and we'll just throw that in here as well. Um, let's just do custom values number four here for fun. I'll uh, use four and there we go. So after we set those up, we have our custom values, right? What we're going to need to do is we're going to ha want to have custom fields. Now there's two ways you can set up custom fields. One is you can go into your form and you can create the custom, the custom fields as you're creating the form, or you can create a folder or you can come into custom fields over here under settings and then um, create your custom fields there. I like to do it under settings because then I can create a folder for them and I can use this as say onboarding. We can call that onboarding and uh, we can put our custom values in there. That way we can separate them out from different custom fields that we have that the customers might be using. So um, in here, I'm just gonna pick, I'm gonna start creating some custom fields. I'm gonna go to single line here and you can pick out multiple ones of these. It'll update any of those custom values depending on how you want to use them. I'm just gonna go custom field one, just to make it easy for us to map these later. And I'm going to add that to onboarding. Okay. So I'm going to create that one. Um, if we look in onboarding, we're going to see that there now. And if I go create another custom field, let's go custom field two. Field two. And we'll put that in onboarding and hit save. Um, do another one because I think we have three of those in there. So field three and it's an onboarding. And then we're going to do that image. I think we had an image in here. So file upload, where is that file upload right there? And then we'll go this custom value, custom field uh, logo. Uh, and again, you can call these whatever you want. Um, and they don't even have to be named the same or anything like that. Cause we're going to map them later. Uh, I'm just doing this now so that we, uh, we know which ones they are. And when you're creating your custom fields to map to your custom values later on, what you're going to want to do is maybe when you create your custom fields, make them similar. So it's a little bit easier to find and understand which ones you're mapping to which. So I think I've got one, two, three, and I think I maybe created a, a fourth one here. Let's just check right now. Yeah. So let's just create a fourth custom field go to four folders again, and we'll go single line, and then we'll go custom field four. Okay. And then that's going to allow us to map that to the custom values to the custom fields. Now, one thing that's important to note here is that the custom fields and the custom values don't have to be in the same account. So let's say, for example, you are onboarding a client and inside of your main onboarding snapshot, they go, they sign up, they pay for their account. Um, and the next step you have them filling out a form that says, hey, fill out these, fill out these values right here um, and we'll update your, your account, right? Here's your settings, fill out these details. Um, you need to have the custom fields in that main account where you're onboarding clients, but the custom values that you're updating can be in a completely separate account. So they actually don't have to be in the same account when you're setting this up. You can have the custom values be in Bob's mechanic shop over here in this location. And then your custom fields, uh, the form that they're updating it from is in your uh, main marketing account. So um, they can be in two separate accounts. And I'm going to show you how you map those um, a little bit later on here through our, um, through our system here. So um, that's it. Just make sure you have your custom value set up and your custom field set up. And then I'll see you in the next step.